You have the fun of annoying all your viewers. Yeah, yeah, people get really irate when you play PC games with uh, with controllers for some reason. I guess they have nothing better to do. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I kind of forgot to put a nice uh, break in the in the stream there to introduce the YouTube people. So, like, the, the, VOD, the VOD for this is probably going to start with me halfway through rambling about something like con Xbox controllers. But anyway, regardless, welcome back. Uh, to Fallout 3. Stream number 3. As we continue the story of Mavis, the Lone Wanderer. Um, the Lone Git, really. As she continues to increase her negative karma score by rampaging around the wasteland and causing problems for people. It's good stuff. Um, and yeah, the reason I was ranting about Xbox controllers is because I'm using one today. I just, I loaded up the game and I noticed that my mouse cursor was nowhere to be found and then I realized it's because my 360 controller is plugged in and I just thought, eh, I suppose I could just use that instead. It means if the cat wants to come up on the desk, he can do that and it's not going to cause me any problems, I suppose. That's, that's, a, that's an added benefit. So, yeah, continue. I believe when we left off last time, we were just outside the outcast base, weren't we? Yes, here we are. Perfect. Look at this. Analog movement. I can walk quickly. I have control over the speed at which I move. I do like that about analog controllers, you know. That is good. Well, the problem is now, I don't know what the controls are. <laughs> <laughs> what are the goddamn controls? Alright. Okay, those are the hotkeys from the pistol and my rifle. B brings up the old... Uh... Man, look at this. A, X, B, hotkey, R, R, B. I haven't, I haven't seen this in Fallout 3 since I played it back on the 360, like, donkey's years ago. This is very nostalgic, actually. Oh, look, I've just noticed it changes the texture on the thing down below there. A left trigger and right trigger for the stats, items, and data. Ha! We are a plunderer now, apparently. I think we were a, a, a vagab vagabond or a renegade or something previously. Now we're a plunderer. You know, it's Y to jump. Thank you. Y to jump. I assume it's X to get my weapon out. Yep. How do I... Ah, it's left bumper to change my view. Okay, interesting. It has quite a slow pan, doesn't it? Oh, I don't like the way it kind of stutters as it moves around. That's a little bit unpleasant. Anyway... Not sure what we want to be doing right now. Uh, right, oh yes, we're going to minefield to bring Moira a landmine. That's what we were doing. Jolly good. I've been trying to do that. Like normally, it's like uh, you know, if you're playing Skyrim with a con with a controller, it's you click the right thumbstick to uh, change the view, don't you? But. Not in, not not with Fallout 3 apparently. It's the left bumper instead, which is a bit weird. I don't know what the right bumper does, but it makes a click noise when I. Oh, it it, it opens vats. That's what it does. Jolly good. I suppose I probably could rebind it, yeah, but I, I'm not totally bothered if I'm honest with you. Left thumbstick click is obviously sneak. He just straight up explode. Oh, there's mines everywhere. Okay, good. You just made my day. Opening fire. Uh, have fun, RL3. I'm gonna go disarm some mines. Oh god. Okay, right. It's not X to 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 use things. It's A. Good to know. <laughs> right, we actually have a landmine now. We could totally just blow off the quest and be like, "Hey, Moro, got my landmine. I totally went to minefield, honest." And I think we might just do that. 
It seems like it's something Mavis would probably do. Press A to not die, yeah. Um, let's see if I can get hot uh, stim packs hotkeyed. Hotkey. D pad down, I'll make that. There we go. A kitty cam yet? I don't know where I'd put it, Queen. I, I don't know where I would put a kitty cam. Because he's, he's always on the move. You just end up looking at, like, an empty patch of carpet most of the time. Scanning, sir. Did have a caution there on the screen for a minute, but it's gone now. What's the other map marker I've got on there right now? Oh god. Okay, slight control malfunction there. I wasn't sure what I was doing. Okay, it's left thumbstick to zoom in and out and right to move it around. Minefield's up that away. Yeah, we want to go... Ah, right, the other map marker is mega turn. Perfect. Mavis up to. Mavis is on her way back to Megaton to lie to Moira about having gone to Minefield and fetched a mine. Because we found one in this little town here instead and we figured, you know, one landmine's as good as another, right? Why go to all the time and effort of heading up to Minefield when I've already got a mine right here, so... Did I ever finish my Fallout New Vegas playthrough? No, I didn't. I got to the point where I was doing my, I was, I was working my way through the DLCs, and I, I just wasn't very impressed with the DLCs, and so I just kind of stopped playing. And then the final nail in the coffin was when I upgraded to Windows 10, and it just broke my New Vegas install completely. That's the other nice thing about the GOG version of Fallout 3 here: it works with Windows 10 out of the box. You don't have to do any chicanery to get it to play nice. Of course, the only thing about playing with the controller is you can quick save. So I guess we're going to have to remember to do manual saves, which is probably better, really. Like, the quick save function is notorious for causing problems in Bethesda games. I mean, people tell me that the other three DLCs are good, but I watched Variax play through all of them, because he was playing Fallout New Vegas roughly around the same time I was. I watched him play through all the DLCs, and I, I just didn't quite understand what the fuss was about. I mean, they were okay, but they weren't exactly the Shivering Isles, were they? Hello, low-res interior of Meg Megaton. <laughs> I think I would rather play, personally, I would rather play the ba base Fallout New Vegas with, with New Vegas bounties than, than the DLCs, personally. You know, the other thing about using a controller is um, it's a bit better for the encoding, particularly on YouTube, hopefully, anyway, because I'm, 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 I'm moving the camera much less quickly now which hopefully means there's going to be much less sort of ink blurring um, sort of artifacts because of the encoding method that YouTube uses. So, hello, Sheriff. Or should I say howdy? I'm going to go to say hello to Moira, assuming her shop's still open. I don't even know what the ADS mod is, Dupree. Oh, God damn it, really? <laughs> Ripping egg, all right, fine. Ooh. Do you know what we've not done since we came back in here? Okay. 
aim down sights. I've never been. I've 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 used the iron sights mod for Fallout 3 in the past, and I've always found it tricky. I've never been able to get it to work pr totally 100% properly. Just every now and again, you would you'd pick up a weapon, and the iron sights would be totally misaligned for some reason. I don't know, like like a lot of Fallout 3 mods, I just found it to be very janky and awkward to use, and in the end I just decided, do I actually care that much about being able to aim down sights instead of just zoom the camera slightly? Do I actually care? And the answer is, <laughs> no I don't. Is it worth all that hassle? Absolutely not. popular ADS mod for Fallout 3 has an engine bug that makes it start to break more and more the longer you, you play through goes. That sounds familiar, yeah. Don't even think of breaking into that. I wasn't thinking of breaking it. Well, alright, maybe I was thinking about it a little. Well, Can't believe there's nowhere I'm allowed to sleep in this town. Other than paying the prostitute, it's actually ridiculous. I came to this place looking for water, but they're only selling to residents. Can't even sleep in the common area. It's, a, it's very annoying. Porglesworth, hello. Thank you very much for 34 months of sabbage. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to say thanks for great content. First time on Twitch, after eight months on and off watching, I finally caught up on all the Morrowind Let's Play. Thanks again for the hours of content. You are so freaking welcome, dude. I was just going to sit in that chair. Even if it's outside of town. Maybe that house where Silva was living. Assuming she's still there. I think I told her I did. did I, I, I think I told her she'd give me some caps and I'd tell Mariani she'd gone. Does, has she actually gone though? Because if she hasn't actually gone, that's pretty stupid and she's probably about to die. But then again, even if I kill her, the, the game might not let me actually sleep in the bed because that's just how this game works, apparently. Like when I killed all those ghouls for that ten penny tower quest and I still couldn't sleep in their bed. Um, We're watching. Makes sense. Um, hi, Lord. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Hello, Silver. God damn it. I'm gonna turn off your radio out of spite. Oh yeah, yeah, just load it up. Just yeah, she's doing it on purpose. Alright, Silver, I'm just gonna because we're such pals, I'm just gonna like sleep in your dining room in a chair, if that's alright. This is, this is, it's a good thing I don't have like one of those mandatory you must eat and sleep mods installed, otherwise this wouldn't fly. There was no significance, Yamikog. When I, when I made that character, I completely forgot there was an NPC called Nils in Windhelm, and as soon as I realized, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, the comments is going to be full of nothing but that now. Um, right. Back to mail. Hold on a second. Did I check this mailbox? I did not. There's a little note in here, isn't there? Uh, where, where would you find it? It's in data, isn't it? That's where you find notes in this game. That's it from Voltec. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Gomez, congratulations on your family's recent inclusion in the Vault Model 1 community. You will find outlined in your application materials a full review of rules and procedures related to preparing for shelter in a Vault Deck facility. 
but we will outline a few key points here. vault Tech provides all clothing, bedding, and accommodations for residents. Personal belongings must be reviewed and approved by an authorized vault Tech Hermetics technician before such belongings can be delivered to your vault quarters within the vault. In the event of an emergency entrance to the vault, no personal belongings will be permitted beyond the main door of the facility. All vault residents must attend an orientation seminar. If you did not attend such a seminar as part of the application process, you must make an appointment with your vault tech representative. In the event of a vault activation, whether actual or drill, vault tech will sound a siren audible in the immediate vicinity of the vault facility entrance. I love the the the, the, the bloody uh what would you call it like the civil defense like early warning system in 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 the Fallout universe is privatized. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking stupid is that? <laughs> um, anyway. And residents will be contacted via holotape message at the phone number provided in the resident profile records. Please report promptly to Vault 101 to, to await admittance and processing upon such a notification. Vault Tech looks forward to having you and your family as valued residents. You look looking forward to the nuclear war then. Good good to know, Vault Tech. Be sure to present this letter to your Vault Tech representative to receive your special commemorative Vault Boy bobblehead toy. Sincerely, Vault Tech, Department of Public Relations, Washington, D.C. There we go. I believe that was addressed to one of the ancestors of one of the people you meet in the vault in the opening prologue, actually. Oh, Springville Elementary. We've not actually explored that. We haven't done that little dungeon yet, have we? That's like... Man, that's like that's like coming out of the sewers in oblivion and not doing Vilverin. It's weird. There's the theory that Vault Tech started the war. Yeah, but like Mr. Public Relations guy responsible for putting out the little the, the little note to go in people's letterboxes probably didn't know that. Like, you know, I, I, I suspect the brochure was not written by the CEO. I love your American accent. It's not even remotely genuine. Well, that's what it sounds like when Americans try to do an English, in air quotes, accent. Even in big, high-profile movies and TV series, like, like, like The Boys, for example, like... Uh, okay, I'm having a brain fart now. What's the name of the guy, the actor that plays... Um, Plays plays the main guy in the boys who I've apparently forgotten the name of the character as well now. Um, I don't know what fucking accent he's supposed to be doing, but it seems to oscillate between really dodgy Cockney and Australian. Carl Urban, that's the one. I still enjoy the series and I really enjoy his performance, but his his accent is total bullshit. How are those hot little potatoes? I have a singular hot potato because, for you. You know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. <laughs> and hot because they um explode. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> Never change, Moira. Uh I got through Minefield Alive and I even bought you a present lie. Eighty two percent chance. Come on, Dice Gods. I'm not buying it. Damn it. I mean, I know it's scary, but you can't half ass something like this, you know? Now go on out there and walk through that minefield like a real researcher. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think walking around in a minefield is a very good idea. Neither is going around all the time with a loaded gun or running with sharp objects. But people do those things all the time. You worry too much. Just be careful where you step, and I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> All right, fine. Take care. It's a big wasteland, but you know that better than me, right? I do enjoy Moira's quests. Anyway, okay, I'll get out of the way, RL3. Right, minefield is this way, apparently. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you have a feeling Mavis is going to end up blowing up Megaton just to kill Moira and be real disappointed if she ever visits the crater. <laughs> yeah, I can see, I could almost see that happening, you know. <laughs> You okay there, RL3? Good. Oh, I should mention I'm using the um I'm using the the external speakers again for the audio today. I'm not using my earphones. Partially because the earphones make my ears sore, and also because my dangly wires, cat, not necessarily a great combination. Um, but do let me know if there's any audio issues. I suppose it's a bit late for that now, because if there's been any audio issues, they will have been going on for quite some time by now. Um, but since the, I've not noticed any complaints in the chat, so I'm going to assume we're hopefully okay. Have we heard Kitty meow in it? Yeah. No, he's, he's sleeping at the moment. He tends to only meow when he's up and about and he's he wants something. He meows a lot when he's bored, I've noticed. Audio sounds good to you. Excellent. He doesn't really meow either. He just sort of um, squeaks. He's a squeaker. I've noticed he does a little double double squeak sometimes, actually, and it's very cute. It's almost as if he's he's, he's emulating me when I say hello to him. He sort of goes <laughs> like that. Right, I'm not even gonna bother shooting at you. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Mr. Gutsy handle this, which he did handily. Nice. You know, a plasma gun will do that, I suppose. I want to loot your sweet sweet innards. Fission battery energy. Cell. I don't think the outcasts actually want fission batteries, do they? They want sensor modules. Has he been an excellent addition to your household so far? Yeah. Yeah. He's occupying a lot more of my time than I'd possibly like at the moment, but that's just a side of effect of the fact that he's very new here. He hasn't yet got the total lay of the land and isn't quite comfortable just sort of wandering about the house. So he's, he's constantly with me, like, all the time. And therefore, you know, I kind of have the sole job of keeping him entertained. Uh, and whatnot, so he's a little bit more high maintenance at the moment than he will be later. Particularly the first couple of days, he was big time. Oh, there's a side quest here, isn't there? Oh, go on then. Hey, who are you? I'm the queen of the wasteland. What does it matter? You can let me in or not. Take it easy. I'm just doing my job. What do you want? We'll, we'll be doing Anchorage. I mean, not if I can help it, mate. To be honest with you, I think I I think I like Anchorage even less than Mothership Zeta as a DLC. I'm not a huge fan. I gotta be honest. Um. Do you harass all of your visitors like this? Well, you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants attacked recently and, and carried off some of our friends. Come in, just don't cause any trouble, okay? How, how are we doing again? I'm gonna badger you about the audio again, because I noticed when he was talking there that my microphone audio, um, bar thing in OBS was peak was 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 peaking a little bit as he was speaking but it was so low down the bar you might not have actually been able to hear it audibly on the stream so 
Sounded fine to you. Okay, good. So the mic was definitely picking it up, but I, it must have just been so quiet that you guys couldn't hear it. Which is which is the goal, really? Welcome to Big Town. Not that there's much of a town left. Those super mutants keep kidnapping people. Uh, what about what do you know about these super mutants? She says in air quotes. I thought growing up was a good thing. You got to leave and explore the real world. Well, nobody tells you that the real world sucks. At first, we just paid the slavers to leave us alone. When we ran out of money, Red found other ways to convince them to leave us alone. But now she and the others are gone. Super mutants attacked and carried them off. No one knows when they're coming back. Or who will be next. Uh, <laughs> um, are we going to go fight super mutants to rescue these guys' friends for no real good reason? Of course we're not. Um, I'll think about it, but I can't rescue your friends now. We don't want to actually, like make enemies here, but we also are not going to commit to, 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 to such a suicidal exercise. Um, oh, well, if you change your mind, we'd be awfully grateful. Those are our friends. Yeah, and you people are a little bit weird, quite frankly. You have any traders in town? Any doctors? No. Red used to run a medical clinic, but super mutants captured her in the last attack. Uh-huh. And why do these super mutants keep attacking the town? Whenever those things come, they grab a few people instead of killing them. No one knows what happens after that. No one wants to know. There's there's always so much blood after they come, and then someone has to move the bodies. Where do people come from, anyway? Oh, Little Lamplight is where most of us came from. Red and Pappy and Flash and Bittercup. We used to play together when we were kids. Then, we got old and we had to leave. Those were the rules. So we packed up and headed here, like we were supposed to. No one told us it would be like this. We never have fun anymore. And most of us... Most of us are dead. Mm-hmm. I'm so tired of being frightened all the time. Welcome to the wasteland. Uh... Oh, great. Another person trying to kill us all. A visitor. Who'd want to visit this hellhole? I'll bet you're here to rape and pillage us, aren't you? Aren't you? Not that it it's matters. tempting. We're all super mutant snacks anyway. What do you know about these super mutants? The only thing you need to know is that we're all doomed. Sooner or later, they'll get every last one of us. Well, what are you supposed to be anyway? Some kind of hero here to rescue our friends from the muties? Bah! You're just here to cause trouble. Well, if you don't care about your friends, then I guess I won't rescue them. Or, no, I'm not going to rescue your friends. Oh, right, this one's a bit more sarcastic. Hold on there. I never said I didn't care. I just know there isn't anyone foolish enough to go up to Germantown. Why? You think you can rescue them? Depends on how much you're going to pay me for it. I got what it takes to rescue your friends. I mean, they do have a military robot after all, but it's going to cost you. Just what I thought. You're a mercenary. We don't need you. Go on up there to die if you like, but don't say you're doing it for us. Hmm? Shrug. You're entitled to that opinion. But I don't work for free. Uh, We're all gonna die. Oh, great, great. More beds are not allowed to sleep in. With nicking. Hello, Malcolm McDowell. How you doing? How's the radio broadcast going today? Let's take a tally of these agitators, shall we? There are, of course, the raiders, those anarchistic. Oh, brilliant. Look at color. Superb. What else we got? An iguana on a stick and a pilot light jackpot. Pseudo 
than common criminals with access to some antiquated technology. Criminals who have had the audacity to claim this country's most important military installation as their own personal clubhouse. Most important military forward. installation, eh? Those who have left the Brotherhood of Steel, branded outcasts, well, we've met them. about the slavers of Paradise Falls, the frighteningly irradiated ghouls of Underworld, and last but not least, the hideously mutated super mutants that have completely overrun the entire downtown DC area. Lawlessness, terror, murder, they're all around us, I know, I know, but not for long, sweet America, not that's a good little overview of all the various factions in the wasteland, I suppose. Who the devil are you? Slept in weeks. Hey, don't get any bright ideas about trying anything. We may not look it, but every one of us is a trained killer. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Look, we're in trouble here. If you want to help, great. If not, just please don't kill anyone while you're here. Uh, it's pretty much a free-for-all here. Where do you keep the good stuff? Yeah, yeah. You're a scary wastelander. Look, you'll either kill us or you won't. Most of us have already accepted death, so you won't get much of a reaction with your threats. At least we won't be slaves if you shoot us all. I'll let you live for now. Aren't you swell? Did you need something else, or can I go back to my patrol? Keep an eye. We've heard all those things from other people. We don't really care. Red's clinic. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold the phone. His wounds are too severe. You must have a medicine skill of at least 40 to try and help him. Put him out of his misery. Nah, no, just be needlessly vindictive. Um, and also a waste of ammunition. <laughs> Anything here worth taking, though? A hollow tape. Tr no, wanted, trustworthy surgeon. Hey, Doc. I'm only sharing this with you because you seem like someone we can trust. Have you heard about the synthetic men they make up north in the Commonwealth? Well, the rumors are true. They're called androids. They're men like us, just made out of different parts. I know one of these androids. He's looking for a trustworthy doctor to perform some facial surgery. Can you do it? Do you know someone who can? Also, do you know anyone who's really a whiz with computers? Mm hmm. The replicated man. I think that's a side quest I've only ever done once, because it's quite, um... It's quite non-standard in the way that you have to kind of go about solving the puzzle of it, really. Clinic basement, huh? Um, good. RL3, good to hear. There's absolutely nothing down here. What a pointless waste of space and time and everything. How do I... Is it... No, is it... Hold B? There we go, that's how I turn my light on with the, with the controller. Ah! How did I not notice these? Requires a key. Well, that's just... <sighs> Disappointing. Hmm. Okay, man. 
mailbox is empty. Someone's been storing random things in this one, which I am going to, of course, take. It's not going to be another identical letter to Vault from Vault Tech like the other one. Oh, okay. Now, we are writing to inform you that your family was not sele selected for inclusion in your chosen Vault Tech facility. Your deposit has been retained and your application added to a waiting list for your preferred Vault. In the interest of your family's security in the event of a minor nuclear event, <laughs> minor nuclear event, please consider relocating to one of these areas where the Vault Tech facilities are available without a waiting list. For a full list of Vault Tech facilities with available accommodations in exciting locales such as Oklahoma and newly annexed Canada, contact your local Vault Tech representative. Vault Tech wishes you and your family the best of luck in the uncertain future. Best regards, Vault Tech Popular Relations Department, Washington, D.C. Hello, Mr. Sundry Bot. It's a damn shame I can't loot you. Hey, Dr. Fat. This is all like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, 200 year old Amazon deliveries, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What have you missed? Well, um, I tried lying to Moira about having gone to... That's quite a pretty sunrise or whatever it is right there. Sunset, possibly. Yeah, that's the west of the sunset. Um, oh, my giddy aunt. That's okay. Well, that's our first super mutant. Swiftly followed by our second. Oh, God, he's got a minigun. with here. Oh, I forgot I was carrying like half an armory's worth of assault rifles. Okay, I've got some mines. Got the hunting rifle. Let's use that. They're not particularly fantastic chances, are they? Oh. Critical strike, not bad. Well, I don't know what that was. Did a car just explode? Probably a car just exploded. Ah, oh, he's dropped his gun. Perfect. Get him! Good thing we've got this guy, isn't it? Should really hotkey this rifle, shouldn't I? There we go. Where'd the other one end up? Oh, here he is. Oh my giddy arm, we have a minigun. Um, Sergeant. Yes, Commander. I want you to hold on to this. RL3 Whoa, no, 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 no. With everything a good soldier needs, but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. All the five mil rounds and the minigun. And the mini nuke, for that matter, actually. 
and that. And my spare jumpsuits. What on earth just happened to him there? That was weird. A big gun skill at the moment is unfortunately dreadful. But maybe it won't stay that way for long. Just favor and finish him off, RL3. Thank you. A little bit annoyed I didn't get any XP for that, but never mind. I feel like we've gone a little bit past minefield, haven't we? We've gone a little bit lost. Okay, today is just Attack of the Giant Mutants, isn't it? Milok meat is relatively valuable. Let's have some. How's the cat? Is he sitting on the keyboard? No, he's sitting under the under his chair at the moment. He's in his little den. He's in sleepy mode at the minute. Hopefully after the stream is ended I should have just enough time to play with him again. Assuming he's waking up, which he probably will be. Um, play with him again, then feed him. And uh, then I'll be able to go play some uh, war hams with a friend of mine. Then try and squeeze my own dinner in there somewhere as well. <laughs> It's a, that's a pretty view. That's some nice. That's some nice lighting. I gotta say, it's pretty good. Those raiders. Those are raiders. I'm planning to get another cat. No, he's he's not good with other cats apparently. So, that is out of the question. Some cats prefer to be only cats. He is apparently one of them, according to the, uh, to the foster up. Um, how do we get over there? Is this, is there, a, is this bridge crossable? Oh, it's in the bloat fly. Well, you you enjoy. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Is he allowed outside? He will be eventually, but not yet. Not for at least three weeks after arriving. He's not even confident going exploring the rest of the house yet, let alone outside. In fact, the, the three the three week recommendation I got is probably a little bit optimistic for him because he's just that shy and nervous. I'm not going to let him out you. until he's Scum. totally convinced that uh, this house is his home and all of the house is his home and the people living here are all friends. Because at the minute he's fine with me, but he's still a little bit nervous around my brother and my dad. So, uh, Octizel. Thanks very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Welcome aboard. Oh, God, it's one of those centaur things. Alright. Just 
Just avoiding you guys honestly feels like a grand idea. Caution. What is it, a raider? Nicely done. What have we here? Shotgun shells. Can actually open this now because I leveled up my lock picking a little bit. More shotgun shells. Mines. More shotgun shells. Trying to loot stuff in long grass. The bane of every Bethesda game player since Oblivion. How do I grab stuff? Maybe it's right thumbstick. I haven't found another use for it just yet. Oh, it is right thumbstick. That's what you use it for. Jolly good. How are we here? More addicts. There we go. Mentats, oh god, that have exploded everywhere. No, oh, we can actually sit in the outhouse, nice. <laughs> um, where are these other raiders? That we done shotted in a face. Seriously, the hell have they gone? I'm sure, there was one down there. There's you. I've already looted. Is there one over here somewhere? There was at least three of them. Sleep. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. We might spend the night here. It's awfully close to a bunch of super mutants, but I'm sure Sergeant RL3 will keep watch.
Oh, there's one. Sword off shotgun. Hey. Now we're Mad Max. Mad Maxine. Mad Mavis. <laughs> uh, noise. Weapons in poor condition. That's okay. I'm mostly just using it for rule of cool. Fallout 4 has diseases. I think it does, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does. Yeah, on survival difficulty, yeah. Dudes. I definitely remember that being a thing when I played last. You get the radar on the ground by RL3? Well, um, that's super helpful, considering RL3 is now here. Thanks, Dupree. 10 out of 10 tip there, mate. Real useful. Ah. Let's see, can I repair this a bit more? Nope, my repair skill just ain't good enough. That's okay though. That's why the repair skill exists. Not everybody can be an expert at everything. Unless you're playing New Vegas and you've reached the level cap anyway. Although the same could honestly be true of this game, I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever reached the level cap in Fallout 3. Sir, I am on the lookout. Good to know. Hello. You don't look like a raider. Who are you? You're a trader! Marvellous. What do you need? Have we met before? She looks familiar. Uh, right, I have loads of stuff that I would love to sell you. Let's see. Like, both of these assault rifles, for instance. Let's see what I can get from you in turn. I'm going to start collecting 5mm rounds because minigun. And shotgun shells, why not? The worst part of Fallout 3, the subways. Do you know what? I didn't even dislike the subways. I, I actually thought they were kind of cool. I, I have some very fond memories of, of, of exploring the subways with Fallout Wanderers Edition installed in really high difficulty. With all the glow-in-the-dark ghouls and stuff. Yeah, it was cool. I like the subways. A lot of people hate them. I always thought they were kind of cool. I'll take that. Another satisfied customer. What can you repair? Repair all for 356 caps. No, screw it. Do it. And now I'll sell some more stuff to you. I got this goddamn beer I clearly do not need. I'll sell like half of it. I'll keep three in reserve in case I need a temporary strength buff. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Well, effectively got free repairs. 
Bye. All right, onwards to minefield. But yeah, no, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the subways as a, as a concept, as a, as an alternative means of getting around the wasteland. I thought they were pretty cool, and I liked navigating them and using the little map of the subway and stuff, and trying to figure out my way around. Because trying to navigate with the, you can't really use your in-game Pip Boy map to navigate the subways. You have to use the actual um, sort of diegetic maps. Oh god, he's got a grenade. That's not brilliant news, is it? Um, let's shoot his arm. Or try to, anyway. Is he? He's coming at me with a sword, isn't he? Shotty. Oh, this was going to be satisfying if it works. Okay, not as satisfying as I thought it might have been. I, I, I kind of thought I was all but confirmed a head explosion there, really. But yes, anyway, as I was saying, subways, they cool. I like them. They were like a, a modern post-apocalyptic Mines of Moria, in my mind. And uh, for that reason, I really, I really enjoyed them. You'd take a wrong turning when you thought you were going the wrong way, and you'd just be sat there like, "I have no room to this place." You'd want to get from one end of the wasteland to the other, and be like, it's three days to the other side." Oh, okay, that felt good. They call it a subway. A subway! <laughs> Oops. Wrong, wrong shortcut there. Did you or ever do the expansions in this game? I've done them all in the past, except for Report Lookout. Thank you, RL3. Oh, I, oh god, no! Just chats off on one again about oh, Bethesda games are barely even RPGs. Bollocks! Bollocks! I says to that. Bollocks! I says. Of course they're fucking RPGs. Jesus Christ! How stuck up your own ass do you have to be to sit there and look at an RPG like this and go, "That's not really an RPG, though, is it?" <laughs> Go throw yourself off a cliff like that. <laughs> Don't really throw yourself off a cliff, but metaphorically throw oneself off a cliff. Off the Tarpeian rock of intellectual discourse. All right, good. Mines. We've arrived, everybody. We're in minefield. Just thought I'd announce that. Can't have Bethesda game chat without being a miserable back and forth, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, going after mines when you have low explosive skill is always a hoot.
besides Daggerfall. Yeah, well, it's because, like, virtually nobody's played Daggerfall by comparison. Damn it, can't get him. Some people haven't been able to form an opinion on it. Same with Arena. And there also isn't just there just isn't very much popular online discourse about those games for for people to you know borrow their opinions for. Oh my goodness! All right, <laughs> withdraw, retreat. Okay, here's yeah, the sniper, isn't there? RL3. Ah, now you see, if this was Fallout 4, I could tell him to go down the street there and distract the sniper, but this isn't, so I can't. Um, Scanning, sir. There's a very loud vehicle outside the house right now. What is that about? Oh, it's a traction engine. Yep, that'll make some noise, all right. <laughs> what on earth? Uh, England. Anyway. I am somehow hidden, in spite of this constant shooting. There you go, we got a sneak attack. Oh, we got him! Brilliant. I mean, you know, he kind of just politely ignored the previous six shots that missed him by a whisker, which was very good of him, but... The gunshot sounds very delayed for some reason. Can anyone confirm that at, at their end as well, or does he just need to refresh his stream? Because are you talking about my gunshot sounds or his? There, just for clarity. Pro tip, ladies and gentlemen. Don't disarm mines and read chat at the same time. Just do one or the other. Why is this mailbox not marked as empty in spite of the fact there's nothing in it? Weird. Um... Right, we were supposed to reach the playground or something. Travel to the playground, return to Moira. However, I want to loot this huh, stuff that's up here as well. I'm not going to go around hoovering up every single mine because, let's face it, if this were real life, you wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't take that chance just for a few extra caps. Considering I've nearly I've nearly blown my legs off a few times now.
and his nuka cola stash, ladies and gentlemen, and his poop bucket. But we have not found the man himself. I did shoot him, and I think he. Ah, oh, there he is. Hello there, sniper rifle. Ridgefield gate key. I do like that forcing the lock is an option in this, by the way. That's like credit where it's due. Could they bring that back? Possibly. Because the force lock option would have been really nice in Skyrim. Freaking sweet. Right, how much ammo have we got for this thing then? Not an awful lot. I guess since I am playing with a controller, my success with the sniping is probably going to be a little limited. But as I yeah, as I try desperately to aim at this one landmine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what VATS is for, though, eh? I think someone in the in the in the comments for the previous video on YouTube in this series actually mentioned that it'd be really nice if they reported this to the Switch. Along with New Vegas, and I have to admit, admit that would be a grand idea. I'd love to be able to play this in New Vegas on the Switch. Because normally, I, I can't really... I can't really play first-person shooters on the Switch, with the exception of, like, original old-school old Doom. Because the thumbsticks just are really bad on the Switch for that. Um, but... I could play this, because I could just use VATS most of the time. Alright. Let's go the other way. <laughs> oh god, not... Uh, uh. I hate this place. I hate it so much. I am going to kill you. Do you ever think of playing Dwarf Fortress again? Possibly on stream? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think about playing Dwarf Fortress every other day, really. <laughs> I love that game. Um, you can bet for sure that if, 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 if I don't play it in before then, when the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress comes out, I will be streaming it a ton. Although I have decided the next time I do play Dwarf Fortress, I don't think I'm going to name dwarves after subscribers and viewers because I kind of noticed that the last time I did that, it took like a good solid 15 minutes just to rename a new wave of dwarves. And that's a bit boring to watch, if I'm honest. You can almost sense the people watching the VOD and skipping ahead of, you know, with the, with the, with the bar on the bottom, 15 minutes to get past the, the dwarf naming. Steam is going to make it a lot more fun to play without mods. Yep, hopefully. And also, because it's on Steam, hopefully it'll have workshop support, and therefore, you know, it'll have loads of bods for it anyway. Because um, Dwarf Fortress has always had a pretty prolific modding scene, to be fair. Okay, I'll be with you in just a minute. I want to see what this is. Sorry, I'm disturbing the remains of the dead, madam. I do apologize for being such a klutz. Yeah. Everything. Alright. I want these. 
I want these. I want these. Might as well have the bobby pin while we're about it. Um, I want these. I want that. And for it, I will give you... This sword. Some dirty water. A fork. I do like that some items are worth less than a cap in this game. Like, you can't sell it by itself, but if you chucked it in with a couple of other near-worthless items, you could probably get a cap or two for it. And that's a nice touch. Um, go on a bit, go on honestly. God, instant map. I'm so freaking hungry right now, guys. I really... I had a very small lunch today, because I'm trying to be... You know, kinder to my waistline, shall we say. But fuck me, I'm hungry right now. Another satisfied customer. I've ripped myself off there ever so slightly, but it's okay. All right, back to Megaton. And get interrupted by raiders. Again, no XP. I mean, it would have been a pittance, but something would have been nice. All right, what do we have here? Do you know what this sniper rifle is good for, though? Glorified pair of binoculars. Boom! There we go. Look at the eyeballs. It's the discussion that keeps on giving, Queen. You want to make some big, some some YouTube bucks? Make a video about with a with a with a controversial opinion about Bethesda games. Preferably with a very uh, cheeky title to get people clicking on it. People never seem to get bored of discussing games that are nearly two frickin' decades old. Another letter from Baltic. Yeah, same as that other one we got previously. Fallout 4 is way better than Fallout 3 in SA. I don't know if that's quite enough. I think what you should do is Fallout 4 is better than Fallout New Vegas, and here's why. That will get the punters in. And more to the point, it will get people arguing in the comments, so people will keep coming back to the video to argue with other people in the comments, thus causing your um, algorithm metrics to further increase. 
Engagement, yes, engagement metrics, that's what I meant to say. Bad doge. Reload faster. Well, it's very polite to wait for us to reload, isn't it? Yeah, another glorious victory, RL3. Dumbing down is a term that needs to be used a lot more selectively than it is. Yeah, you might be onto something there, actually. Are these lootable mushrooms or are they just... Yeah, no, just, they're just the bad mushrooms. Those are either Milo gigs or those weird brain fungus things. Would your last video get like that? Like that get Dave nearly a million views? A good point, actually. I'm not sure what it's up to. I know it hit a million a while ago. I do know that much. I was informed by a friend that it had hit a million, and I just like, face palmed slightly. Um. To be fair, I think I still more or less stand by 90% of the things I said in that video. Let me pushing destroyed cars around like it's trespasser. Why the Bethesda fan base is uh, a fucking idiot? So here's why. You know what? You have to get rid of the swear word because, you know, demonetization, but that'd be a good one. Bethesda's fan base are idiots, and here's why. One hour, 46 minutes. That'd do the job. It's a risky one, though. You'd have to make a very convincing argument. Because otherwise you'll just get a bu bucket load of dislikes and it won't really translate into new subscribers. can do those videos for two months and you'll have your computer fund. I just I can't bring myself to do it though, Queen. It's a lot of work to make a video like that and if you're not actually passionate enough about the subject matter, it's just... it's not gonna work. That whole kind of video has become such a meme at this point. I don't really want to contribute to it. If I was going to make a video like that, I'd rather make it about something else and possibly something about something a little bit more intellectually highbrow, shall we say? Like, like, have a discussion about RPGs in general rather than just this specific game. Please tell me Moira's still open. I mean, <clears throat> her shop's still open. Hello. How are those hot little potatoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gave me that spiel before. My very own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? 
We don't have much to say, do we? Cause it's probably because we don't have like explosive skill or anything like that. Um. Do you know I quite like the Salt Factories videos? Yeah, they're 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 good. They're good stuff. Like he doesn't he's not afraid to sit back and go. You know what? I really don't like this bit of this game, and I don't care how many other people say it's great. Doesn't let other people inform his opinions. Uh, let's see. The whole place is a death trap. Lots of places are nowadays. Good work staying alive in tough conditions. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. See, I don't get that argument at all. Like, half-finished game. What, what what game of Bethesda relief, uh, has released that is half-finished? In your mind. Bearing in mind that the words half-finished have a very specific meaning. As in, it's only halfway finished. I know we like to use a little bit of hyperbole when we're arguing with people on the internet, but really think about what you just said there for a second. Fallout 76. Yeah, see, that you can make an argument for being a half-finished game. But that was made by a different development team of Bethesda, so, like, you know, whatever. I'm talking about their mainline RPGs here. So, you know, Arena, Daggerfall, Morrowind, Oblivion, Fallout 3... Skyrim, Fallout 4. Of all of those, which one was half finished? Absolutely slaughtering his chat today. That's what I do, man. I've been doing this for 10 years. <laughs> um, the last chapter is about radiation, right? Yes, that's what I need your help on. I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. You want me to get irradiated? How could that possibly be worth it for me? Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. Maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. That's such a reassuring clarification, Moira. Thank you. I don't know if I want to do that one. Okay. I suppose we can put that one off for a bit. Except we kind of do need to do it, because we've done everything else. Damn it. So All right, fine. I'll go and get irradiated. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or... At least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. <laughs> now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. What do you know about this android from the Commonwealth? Yeah, that's a good point. We found a holotape about that. Have you heard the so-called android recording? It sounds like an ordinary man. Here's a spare copy of that old holotape. It's a hoax for sure. All right. Tell me more about this holotape. I guess they sent those tapes to lots of people, especially people like me who are interested in technology. Boy, I wish androids were real, though. All right. Good luck with that research. Hopefully this is quite an easy one. You just need to go stand next to the bomb for a while. Drink the waters of Atom, indeed. Salvation. It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. 
Temptation to plant detonator rising. Uh, and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Adam, my friend. Release yourself to his power. Feel his glow and be divided. That's what I'm doing. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in no, the it's, there's plenty of suffering right now. I already feel ill. Pretty sure my hair's going to start falling out any second now. Shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam's glow. Burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Each of us shall give birth to a billion... You now have radiation poisoning. Hooray! <laughs> how, how radiated does she actually want us to get? Contract radiation sickness, 200 rads. Optional, 600. Of our wretched and filthy bodies. Each of us shall be mother and father. Am I using mods? Nope. Not a single bloody one. Just the vanilla version of the game from GOG. Literally being baptized into the Church of Atom, I suppose I am. Drink with me and pray. Glorious. Who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church any time, any time at all. Uh-huh. I have to go and irradiate myself, because I can't irradiate myself while in dialogue, rather annoyingly. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf <laughs> to hear the thunder. Well, the circling the vultures are, uh, are a nice touch, I guess. And children of the earth, come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Come forth. Anyway, I know, like, I know, I sound like I'm being very harsh on my chat, but like, here's my philosophy when it comes to streaming and let's playing, showing off games these days. I want to do it because I think the game is good, and I want people to be able to look at me playing this game and go, "Huh, it's not bad actually. I think I might get it installed and play it a bit myself." If people do that, I consider it to be mission accomplished. And so, when I'm streaming a game, and a lot of people in the chat and in the comments decide to start slagging the game off I kind of take exception to that because that's like completely contrary to my mission statement here when streaming these sort of things I want to show people the good in the game and make them consider playing it themselves it, it, that is not helped if you've got the peanut gallery on the side there going oh, this game is so shit each of us shall give birth to a billion stars Formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy This will speed things up a bit. Each of us shall be mother and father. There we go. Optional completed. Am I glowing yet? That's a thing if you get super radiated, isn't it? You start glowing. And not in the nice way. Wait, you telling me I've got myself irradiated and she's locked me out? Getting closer and closer to blowing this town up. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy, Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Okay, bye. Three is on sale in Gogol Minute. It is, actually. Funny you should mention that. Perfect timing. Oh, hello. Colin has arrived. What is it, Colin? You woken up now? How you doing? 
Hmm? You've had, you've, you've finished snoozing. You've come to harass me on the desk now. Oh, 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 he nearly stepped on the enter key on the keyboard there. What you doing? Hmm? How's it going? How's things, me old blad? How are you, how are you doing? Hmm? Good boy. Oh, he's purring now. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, it's the microphone. He's sniffing it. Hello. I, I promise I'll get Colin Cam set up for next time. Yeah, hello. His fur is so soft, it's amazing. I think it's because he's still a very young cat. He's barely more than a kitten, really. His fur is amazingly soft. There you go. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. Yeah, okay, right. He's lying down in front of the keyboard now, but he did also just sort of collapse on top of the mouse there and clicked the mouse button. Luckily, it's not done any damage. Um, even belly rub. No, no, no. He's not very keen on belly rubs, are you? You'll roll over and show me your belly, but you don't want me to touch it, do you? Ah, see, this is this is well, this is one of the reasons I'm using an Xbox controller today because <laughs> it means he can do this and it doesn't cause me any issues. Right, less of the scratching my arm though. That'd be nice. Thank you. Cat, show you their belly when they trust you not to touch it. Exactly. Exactly. He's showing me his belly because he knows he can trust me not to poke it. Good boy. Yeah, I know, it's an ambulance outside. It's very noisy. Ooh, we're losing our balance slightly. It's up for a stretch now. He's still moving about a bit. You don't really quite want to settle, do you? You just sort of want to be in the vicinity of my hands. Rubbing his face up against the controller. Yes, hello. Right. I'm going to sit here glowing in the dark until morning. Colin is indeed adorable. If you're a subscriber of the channel, on Twitch or a membership person on YouTube or a Patreon supporter, you can get access to the Discord, which um, I mention this only because the Discord pet channel is full of pics of Colin right now. Lots and lots of Colin photos, so if that's something you're interested in, that's where to find him. What was she doing? Oh, feeling a bit under the weather or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> Give me that cheerful act, Moira. You locked me out. I've spent all night sat in that chair vomiting. About as radiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell. You're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Oh, I feel fine. Cough. Never better. Cough. No problem at all. Wheeze. Oh, you poor dear. Putting on a brave face like that. Well, don't worry. It'll all be better. And it's for a good cause. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but, but I'm sure it'll work <laughs> out fine. Exciting, isn't it? More reassurance. Okay, a little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems. 
as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Maura's experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now, when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Oh, could be worse, right? Oof, hell, Colin. He's doing, he's doing the kneading thing with his paws, but his, his paws have some quite sharp claws attached to them at the moment. Haven't gotten around to clipping those just yet. All right, that completes the first chapter's tasks, correct? Yep, you've done a great job. I just need to add in the section on how to cook rat, and this chapter's done. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We still have got two more chapters to go. Okay. You know, he's just uh, he's moved now, but for a second there he decided to just sit right in front of the Twitch chat on the screen. Quality choice of, of, of spot there, Colin. Well done. Okay, I am ready to start researching the next chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats. Oh, I love that quest. Learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Tell me more about repelling the mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. All right. I don't know if handling weird chemicals is safe. What's it worth to you? Don't worry about the chemicals. I handle them all the time while experimenting. And I'm perfectly fine. Aren't I? <laughs> How about I let you have the leftover chems I used to make it? Heck, do a thorough job and maybe I'll let you keep the repellent itself. <laughs> Thanks for the bits of pyro. I'll lick the stick. Uh, I'll test out the repellent for you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. <laughs> then they're gone before it. you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. What? Okay, I like that. Sorry, I shouldn't skip that. I haven't found any enough for all Morats. And she's like, oh, the repellent works that well? That's incredible. Um, let me think about the guy. Can I ask you something? Absolutely. I'll bet you haven't been thinking about the guide as much as I have. Why do you really want to write this guide? Well, it'll help humanity rebuild, right? I mean, who doesn't want to help humanity? Besides, it's bound to work out better than some of my other projects. I mean, with you helping and all, how could it go wrong? Um, yeah, now that the cat sat back down again, I can actually see the dialogue options. Um, what do you mean about your other projects? Have there been problems? Well, a little before you first arrived, one of my experiments had a little accident. I mean, how could I have predicted the centaur would think my assistant smelled tasty? <clears throat> But nothing bad like that could happen with this book. It's a great plan, and it'll make up for everything else. We could, oh, you could try and convince her not to write it. I'm not sure I want to, though. Doesn't sound like a very profitable choice. I think you're right. Now let's get back to work on this book and rewarding me with things. You got it, super research assistant. Hey, I should get you a costume or something. Oh, let's sell her some stuff. Uh, don't, don't, don't. The cat is being distractingly cute at the moment. Colin, why are you so cute? Why are you so adorable? Hmm? 
I'm trying to do a stream here and you're just lying there with your head over on your side and your paws in the air. Anyway. Did I pick up a bunch of cartons of cigarettes or have I already sold them? You want to hunt the mole rat, he's Colin. Is that what you want to do? A bit big for you, I think, mole rats. Railway spikes. Yeah, gosh, get rid of them finally. Ammunition. She got any shotgun shells. Yes, I was a very loud motorbike, I know. I will take all your stim caps. Uh, stim caps? What am I on about? Stim packs. Okay, maybe not all of them. That's quite expensive. Then again. Way more of those than I need. And frankly, may way more of these than I need. I should give RL3 my flamer, actually. I don't need to carry that around all the time. And that'll do. Good hunting. Try not to die. Thanks. Level five, everybody. Okay, well. Big guns? Is it time to start thinking about big guns? I don't think so. Not yet, really. Um, explosives, though, maybe? Lockpick, medicine, repair. A, bit, a few extra points of repair wouldn't go amiss, actually. Let's do that. Um... Just a shed load more small guns. Honestly, that's what I'm going to do, yep. Alright, uh, Scoundrel. Take the Scoundrel perk and you can use your wily charms to influence people at each rank. Uh, just skill increases. Boring. Let's go with Entomologist. You do an additional 50% damage every time you attack a mutated insect like the Radroach Giant Ant or Rad Scorpion. Hell of a day, isn't it? Helpful considering we're playing on very hard difficulty, I suppose. <laughs> no, you need, yeah. Morning. Cat's leaning on my finger, which is what caused me to randomly zoom there. <laughs> right, Arrow 3, I need to give you some stuff. By your command, sir. By your command. Um, RL3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. There it is. Flamer. Make that time. Enjoy your stay. Okay, uh, so. Mole rats. Where's the tepid sewers? It's all the way over there, huh? Alright then. Welcome. We can get there and bash a few more rats with the stick before the, st the stream ends. What's the time? Oh, well, we've got 20 minutes. Maybe we can do it.
Is he snoring? I think he's snoring. I don't think you guys can hear it. But Colin is snoring. I suppose that answers your question, Dr. Fat. I guess he's not excited. <laughs> Was that just a mole rat? That was a mole rat, wasn't it? That was a mole rat that I could have bashed with the stick. God damn it. RL3. I'm gonna have to make you wait outside the sewers, aren't I? For this one, you can actually use any more rats. Yeah, I know. That's why I was annoyed with him for killing that mole rat for me. Your dog is snoring and you're like, you can hear my dog? <laughs> ah, perfect. I just took a perk for dealing with you. Here we go. Hmm. It's just not your day, Rad Scorpion. about double barreled shotguns isn't there ever since doom i've just loved the bloody things it's also incidentally the only gun i've ever fired in real life oh god no it's him again right ignore him don't make eye contact Sorry, devil are you Mort, let me be blunt go away fair enough What side of the river is this place on? It's on the other side, okay, right, well then. You made a blackberry pie and you think it's about time for you to go to bed? So have fun being a bit evil. Thanks, Ruby Soul. Enjoy your pie and your sleep. I could go for a blackberry pie right now. Mm. Blackberry crumble, maybe. Crumble in general would be quite nice right now. I'm meaning to make a pineapple crumble one of these days, actually. I've got a recipe off a friend for one of those, and it looks delicious. Do not enter. Fair enough. Not like it didn't warn me. Whoever set this up, you tried to kill me, so therefore by the laws of the wasteland, I now have earned the right to take your stuff. Is your Washington Monument over there? Yeah, I remember, I was thinking I was telling people on Discord about this a while ago, but I had a mod once for Fallout 3 um, that gave you a an assault rifle that fired megaton nukes. Um... Pretty sure I had one that also fired uh, mini nukes, which was quite fun. But I had one that fired megaton nukes. And uh, it was quite fun to sort of put on god mode. Go to the top of the Washington Monument and just spray the landscape with megaton nukes.
Hmm. Sure. I'm having some difficulty figuring life out right now, this raider. Okay, this is gonna be good. Oh, RL3, buddy. Sorry guys, I, that was my that noise you may have just heard was my my, my controller vibrating against the desk. <laughs> He's actually okay. This robot's indestructible. Good to know. Why is he shooting at now? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my word! What is happening? Oh, I'm getting so much more than I bargained for right now. Done with you yet? Well, that was an experience. Who was this random wastelander that just, oh god. Ah, you were booby trapped. Well, we have a missile launcher now. When did the guy... There he is. <laughs> He's still getting angry. Alright, come on, dude. the nice thing about RL3 is you can give him stuff and he won't use it. Like this missile launcher and missile, for example. Lead on. Come on, people, I need a target. Where is he going? Oh! Oh bother. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, <laughs> whoops, all right, well, folks, um, we're out of time for today, I'm afraid, it's been fun though, and I guess when we come back next week, we'll be trying to do, navigate our way through that fuster cluck all over again, hopefully with a bit more success this time, uh, it's been good though, it's been good, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. Uh, I will maybe be back tomorrow with, with another stream. If I lean really close to the cat, maybe you can hear him snoring. Sir, searching for targets.
Did you hear that? Hopefully you did. Um, right. Anyway, yeah, hopefully I'll be back with another stream tomorrow. Tomoz. Don't know what it's going to be exactly. Saturday is the kind of I'm going to stream just whatever day. Uh, and then, of course, Sunday will be more Daggerfall. Um, as we continue grinding towards being able to complete the main quest. So, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um... I'm going to do another save, just to be on the safe side there. And yeah, let's... Can we raid somebody? We should probably raid somebody. Yeah, I know, I know, cat. Sorry, I woke you up. Intermission. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, does that, does that controller belong to you now? He just reached out with his paw and stretched and grabbed the thumbstick and pulled it towards him. Um, right. Rage Channel. Zamalf is playing XCOM UFO Defense. Perfect. Perfection. Excellent. He's getting some really good numbers on those streams. You know, he's got like 122 people watching him right now. I think Zamalf playing XCOM is a bit like me playing a Bethesda game. Uh, right. Start raid. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Just probably good timing as well because the boy here is uh, is a bit... He's awake now. I think he probably is going to want some fud very soon. All right. Cheers, Matthias. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. Um, and yeah. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. And even though it's not quite started yet for some of you, I'm sure. Thank you for knocking over my, uh, my drinks flask, Colin. Thank you for that. Just in at the death there. <sighs> Okay. Bye, everyone. Have a good one.